Hello, my name is Muhammad Ashour. I'm an assistant professor at the uh, Department of Network in the Faculty of Information Engineering and Technology. I'm going to talk to you today about future job trends and how IET is related to these future job trends. We are talking about the future because you will graduate in the year 2024. 2024 is four years from now. In the domain of information technology, four years is such a long time. A lot of things will happen during that period. A lot of technologies will emerge. A lot of technologies will disappear. In order to get good jobs, highly paid jobs, you have to have to be uh, ahead of the market in such jobs. You have to be prepared for the jobs that will appear in 2024. And this is one of the most important interests of the IET stack, is to prepare you for future jobs. It's you a challenge because you should be preparing for jobs that do not exist now and it also means that some of the jobs that are currently prevailing now will not be good jobs in four years from now. So how can we predict that? To do that, we will depend on an organization called Gartner. Gartner is a business organization that predicts trends in every business. This is their 10 strategic technology trends for the year 2020. And strategic means that these trends are the trends for the technologies that will prevail in five to 10 years from now. They have a very nice video. You can watch the video by scanning the code that you see on this, on the side of the video. Let me go through these technologies very fast in order to introduce you to them. Is hyper automation. Hyper automation takes an extra step beyond the automation to connect every device around you in order to automate everything from transportation, factories, studies, robots, and everything. Another technology trend is multi experience. Multi experience works to unify all the technology devices that one person uses, so that you can have a seamless experience across all these devices and you can make use of all of them at the same time and make use of the information that they all generate. Democratization is basically making technology available to everyone. You can call it technology for the poor or technology for the people who are not aware of technology. And that requires making technology easy, accessible, and also cheap. Human augmentation is the actualization of the uh, science fiction movies that you see, such as Iron Man. It's basically adding electronic devices to humans and augmenting it with intelligence processing that is available somewhere else and that is communicated to the humans in order to enable them to take much, much, much smarter decisions. One of the important things in doing that is the transparency and traceability. They are interested in being able to trace every action that has been made and to make sure that this action is authentic. This puts a big uh, load on the idea of security. Another important thing is empowering the edge. Currently, everything is done at the network. Empowering the edge meaning that edge devices, which is devices that are available at your home or at your car, would be able to do things on themselves without going back to the network. This puts a huge challenge on the network and in the processing of the devices that are located at the edge. Another important trend is distributed clouds. Clouds are 
big data centers such as the one shown on this picture. There's too many of them, integrating them together so that you can achieve a seamless uh, computing capability is one of the important things in the future. At the end, one of the most important things is autonomous things. The idea of autonomous things is to add brains to everything around you. Starting from the car that could be self-driven, to the washing machine that could decide when to wash and what to wash and which cycles to use, all the way to your TV that can decide uh, what kinds of programs you want to watch. So making every and each device think for itself and communicate with others in order to provide a much more enhanced services. One of the technologies that are uh, that we are interested in is called blockchain. You guys not know blockchain from the idea of Bitcoin and so on, but the idea here is to make everything distributed through the network so no one can delete anything or no one can change anything. That requires big uh, communication between devices and a very complicated networking system. In the of all that, it's very clear that security, specifically artificial intelligence security, is a major issue. Because you don't want someone messing with how your car drives, and you don't want someone messing with how your air conditioning at home works. So providing air security is one of the most important future uh, technology requirements. So now we know about uh, the uh, technology trends, but uh, I guess now you want to know how these uh, technology trends are related to IET departments. IET has electronics, communication, and a networking department. So let's go and see uh, what are the things that are related to each of these trends. Let's go uh, to electronics. In order to be able to achieve these uh, trends, we need to uh, electronic engineers to develop VR devices, make them smaller, make them uh, less clumsy. We need also to do ele electronic implants that could be implanted inside the body and operate with minimum battery. Uh, in order to be have a multi-experience, we need to work more on the wearables. And in order to democratize uh, the, uh, the technology, we need to work on developing cheap, affordable devices that are easy to use for non-technology experts. We also need to work on electronic sensors and electronic control so that we can achieve uh, human augmentation so that humans can be immersed inside a factory as if they're part of it. Uh, we need AI processors and quantum computers to be able to support all the artificial intelligence functions. These are processors that are built specifically to do these functions. Uh, in order to uh, keep the transparency, we need to develop water, electronic watermarking. Watermarking is like the watermark you see on money, but electronic watermarking is uh, electronic signatures and electronic hardware signatures that ensure that the traceability of all the steps that you do. We also need to have security that is embedded in the hardware and that would stand in the face of viruses and so on. To build autonomous things, uh, for example, if we are talking about self-driving cars, we need electronic engineers to develop the functions that would enable the car to uh, drive by itself and to build uh, smart spaces and empower the edge, we need uh, IET, uh, IoT sensors and microcontrollers to be embedded in all the spaces around. So in other words, electronic engineers are the enabler engineers. Without electronic engineers, we cannot do anything. We cannot program devices. We cannot build 
virtual reality, we cannot build self-driving car. We would only be using computers and animation. So what about communication? Communication is very important in all of these technology trends. In order for these things to communicate, like when we have vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, without that communication, the idea of autonomous things will never exist. We have to have very high speed networks, uh, such as the emerging 5G and then the 6G and so on, that will enable all these technologies to talk to each other, because delay here is very important. We also need to develop very small and fast transmitters that could transmit to a very long distance. We would have billions and billions of these transmitted embedded in every device that we have. We also need to develop uh, signal processing uh, algorithms that would be able to analyze the signal that is coming from all these devices and that would be able to detect things and would be able to diagnose things and so on. This is very important for human implementation. We also need communication encryption algorithms so that we ensure the safety of all these devices. You don't want someone uh, messing up with uh, your fridge or with your air conditioner or even much more dangerously with your car. One of the things that a lot of people are working in is quantum communication, which is uh, increasing the communication far beyond what we have now. So what about the role of network in these technology trends? Network is the main enabler. It is the background that supports all these services. In order to have autonomous things communicating, you have to have a network that can support that. That network has to have protocols that will ensure the functionality and that what they are built specifically for these type of applications. You also need machine learning, artificial intelligence, reporting, and so on, which is part of what you study in network. You need a network security to ensure that the network that is providing all these services will not be hacked. You need to be able to deal with new emerging networks like 5G with the high data rates and with the routing requirements. You need to support billions of Internet of Things uh, devices creating huge massive networks. You should be have the ability to build, maintain, engineer uh, data centers and cloud computing centers. And you should be able to build application-specific networks like smart home networks. This is why networking is the connector of all these things. And this is why network has become an increasingly important role in providing all these services. Now we have talked about the technology trends and their role in the different uh, departments of the IET. In IET, we focus on building capability in all these trends in order to help you rocket your career. I hope that this video was useful. There is another video specifically talking about the career development of IET engineers. Please have a look at it. Bye-bye.